Welcome to chapter nine, or chapter, yeah, chapter nine, lesson nine. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind. All right. Estimate sums and differences. I skipped estimating because sometimes estimating is easy and sometimes estimating is really hard. And I was more concerned about you learning how to do the math math than the estimating for the math math. Does that make sense? We're going back to catch it because it's an important skill. But I need to make sure you know how to do the math math. All right. So we are going to skip the first page. Now, remember when we talked about fractions? We talked about, um, is it closer to zero or is it closer to the next whole number or is it in the half? This says estimate by rounding each mixed number to the nearest whole number, the nearest whole number. If I'm estimating to the nearest whole number, I need to think about what? Yeah, get, you might want them out. Maybe not. You might. So the first thing I need to think about is I need to think about my fraction. I need to think about my fraction. Is my fraction closer to the next whole number or is it closer, is it going to bump it up or is it going to leave it the same? Now remember, to bump up a number you're looking for, it needs to be half or bigger. To bump up a number you want it half or bigger. So if my fraction, if my denominator is 8, what is half of 8? So if half of 8 is 4 eighths, and I look at this fraction, is this bigger, 4 eighths or bigger, or is it smaller than 4 eighths? smaller. So if it's smaller, it's going to stay the same. So if this is going to stay the same, how, how, what would my whole number be? Two, right? Do I need the eights? No, because the eights told me if I'm going to bump it up or I'm going to keep it the same. Now I'm going to look at the next one. You know, I'm going to highlight my whole numbers. That will help me out. So my whole number is 3. I have to look next door. My next door number is my fraction. We said half of 8 is 4 eighths. Is 4 eighths going to make 5? Is it going to bump it up? Or is it going to save? Show me. 5 is bigger than 4, so it's going to bump it up. So if I bump up my number three, my number three is going to become a uh, four. Two plus four is six. Feeling good? Meh. This is stinky so far, Miss Richardson. I know it's the first question. I just kind of want to take your pulse. Okay, thanks. Let's look at number two. Now, the other tricky schmicky piece is this. This one, adding. This one is subtracting. So I'm going to put my sign first. Now, this one has two different numbers. What is half of nine? Half of nine would be four and a half. Now you cannot write your fraction this way. Four and a half is half of nine. What is half of three? Mm 
one and a half is half of three. Again, you cannot write your fractions that way. I just want you to see where it is. Now, if you look at your first fraction, if I highlight my first, if I highlight my whole numbers, whole number, whole number, means I have that many whole pies, right? And I look at my fraction, my fraction's next door. If it's two ninths, is it going to bump up my number or is it going to keep my number safe? Show me. Show me. It's going to keep my number safe. So my number is going to be five, right? Let's look at the next one. This is my number three. I have to look at my next door neighbor. It's two thirds. Look at what my fraction is. Half of three is one and a half. Is it going to bump it up or is it going to keep it safe? Okay, show me. Bump it up or keep it safe? Uh, didn't say use your words. I said show me. So if I bump this up, my new number is blurt. Four. Five minus four is one. Now, what is half of five? Half of five. Two and a half. The only reason I'm having you guys write this on the side is it makes bumping up or staying safe easier, correct? Now I'm going to highlight my what? Whole numbers. And then I point my next door. And what does three-fifths tell my numbers to do? Show me. Waiting on one friend. Hmm. Look at this number. Three. Is three bigger than two and a half? So if three is bigger than two and a half, it should be bumped up, right? So three becomes a uh, four. Now notice what's my sign. I'm going to highlight my sign because those signs are flip flopping all over the place. They're like a fish out of water, right? You ever seen a fish jump on a fishing on a on a bank? They're flip flapping and mm-hmm. You got it. Now let's look at the next one. I'm gonna point to my next door neighbor. One fifth. What's it gonna do? I have some disagreements. Gonna do. Yeah, it's gonna be safe. Why is it gonna be safe? Because one is less than two and a half. So if it's safe, I'm gonna add what? Just a one. Four plus one is five. Thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs to the side. How we feeling? That's about what I thought. Now, this page says, estimate by rounding each mixed number to the nearest whole number. Now, it gives you room to estimate. But before I have you estimate, I want you to think about what is half of three? Good try. One and a half. What is half of four? Two. So I need to look at this number. I'm going to look at my whole number. What is two thirds going to make seven do? Show me. what was tricky about that? 
Why? What? No, 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 no. Look. The you. <clears throat> no. Seven has nothing to do with it. It does, but it doesn't. When you're figuring out if it's going to be bumped up or not, seven has nothing to do with it. You just have to look at the two-thirds. And then you have to think about what's half of two-thirds. And we said one and a half is half of two-thirds, right? So is the number at the top one and a half or bigger than one and a half? Is two bigger than one and a half? Yeah, so because two is bigger than one and a half, seven is going to go up to eight. It, uh, that's up to you. I just don't want you guys, if you guys do the estimating right, but then you forget and you subtract it instead of adding it, it's still going to be wrong. So I don't want that to be the reason you get it wrong. Now, it's up to you. If you're going to remember to check your sign every time, then you don't need to highlight it. But if you're going to forget to check your sign every time, then you might want to highlight it. That's one way to do it. Look at the next one. So if I highlight my whole number, my whole number is 4. And if I look at my next door neighbor, my next door neighbor is 1 4. We said half of 4 is 2, right? Is 1 bigger than 2? So if 1 is not bigger than 2, what's it going to do? There you go. So the, the 4 and 1 fourth is going to become... 4 and 1 fourth is going to be just 4. Now... Check my sign. My sign says subtract. 8 minus 4 is 4. Um, I want you to try number 5. So what did you guys do with 5 and 1 third? Did it stay the same or bumped it up? It stayed the same, so it became a... Uh, Five. What did you do with three and seven ninths? Bumped it up, and we're adding five plus four is. Any questions with that one? Let's do the next one together. What is half of seven? Blurt. Three and a half. Three and a half. Three point five over seven is half. It, what are we gonna do? Show me with one seventh. One seventh is going to be safe, so my new number is going to be what? Nine. Nine. What about five and six sevenths? What are you going to do with six sevenths? Show me. You're going to bump it up, so five becomes a. Uh, and then we're doing what kind of thing? Subtraction. Nine minus six is. Three. Try number seven. All right, half, <coughs> excuse me, half of 10 is 5. So 5 tenths, half of 1 fifth is 2.5 out of 5. Now, what are you going to do with 7 tenths? Show me what you're going to do with 7 tenths. You're going to bump it up. So my 6 is going to become a... Seven minus one and one fifth. What are you gonna do with one fifth? Show me. Got a bunch of safe going on. So one is gonna go to one and a half. One one and one fifth is gonna be one. Seven minus one is. Any questions with number seven? Please do me the favor. If this kind of a problem makes more sense, rewrite them this way. 
If this kind of a problem makes more sense, rewrite them that way. Play to your strengths. Math should be about what... I want you to be as successful as possible with math, right? So if this makes life easier, do it this way. If this makes life easier, do it that way. My guess is it's not going to be both ways as easiest, right? All right. Um, try number eight. I'm going to show you what I would do. Number eight, eight and 11 twelfths, I would bump it up to nine. Four and one third, I would leave it safe at four. I'm adding, so I would have 13. Any questions with that one? All right, try number nine. I'm going to look at number nine. My whole number is 15. My whole number is three. Three is less than half because half would be 3.5 over 7. So this number would drop to 15. 4 is bigger than 3.5, so it would bump up to 4. 15 minus 4 is 11. Any questions with that? All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye. I forgot the homework. One to six. Please, you must show your work. All right, talk to you later. Bye.